Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So earlier this year, I stated, well, I don't know if I said it to you guys or if I just stated it in general, but I really want to focus on a lot more drugstore brands and more affordable makeup brands this year. I'm still going to review obviously the brands I want to review, but I just feel like with how tough the economy is lately, makeup is getting pretty expensive even to myself. So I figured I start to focus a little bit more on drugstore and affordable makeup. So the brand I'm going to be talking about today is actually AOA <laughs> and I'm kind of a year's Late. Um, last year they actually sent me a full box of makeup to try out and pretty much everything you guys see right here is going to retail for a dollar no more sometimes it goes like to dollar 15 sometimes a dollar 35 depending if it's like the Paw Paw collection so I'll be doing a full face using the AOA beauty brand I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not I think it's worth it especially because it only retails for a dollar so many of you guys let me try this brand out and we're finally gonna sit down today and try a full face of these products. You guys want to see what my thoughts are on this brand, what type of look I create? Well, then definitely keep watching. Oh, we had like a tongue twister there for a moment. So last year, I want to say it was like around, wow, I look so pale right now. My lips are so pale. I look so pale. My hair just needs to be washed. We are just having a moment. But last year before I went to LA, I was actually contacted by the AOA beauty brand and they reached out to ask if they can send me a full box of makeup. And it ended up being like 35 bucks, but I got so many products. I pretty much got 35 products for 35 bucks. They obviously did cover it and I'm still so grateful for them sending this my way. And I remember I asked you guys in that video if you guys wanted me to do a full review on these products. You guys said yes. And I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball and I didn't do anything with it until now. So here we are, almost one year later. Woo! I obviously suck as a beauty content creator. <laughs> but I have everything sitting in front of me to create a full face of makeup. I have a primer, I have a foundation, a concealer, a setting powder, bronzer, blush highlight situation. We have eyeshadow palette, we have a setting spray, we have mascara we have like eyeshadow toppers along with a lot of lip products sitting right here and some brow products as well so i'm really going to sit here and try out all these products to see if they're actually worth it in my personal opinion a lot of you guys said that you guys love this brand so i'm so excited to actually finally sit down and try it so i think what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in because i obviously want to show you guys my full face and we're just gonna get this party started. So let's go ahead and zoom on in. All right, so to get started, we're gonna try the AOA Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. I really, really love my Benefit Cosmetics Tinted Pomade. I feel like that is just so incredible. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. So I really hope I end up liking this. It only retails for a dollar, so it's not like I'm breaking the bank if I don't like it, or I feel like you're breaking the bank if you don't like it. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take, wow, my brows have not been waxed in such a hot minute. <laughs> They're looking rough. So I'm gonna take just this Benefit brow. We're just not gonna, gonna look at how gross it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and dig into here. All right, get some pigment. It seems kind of dry. It was wrapped up. Everything is completely sealed and wrapped up. I have not taken anything out of its packaging since I got it. So let's try this out. Ooh, we are not really getting much pigment right now. Let me try really digging in here. This is like doing nothing. It's like not really giving me anything. I don't know. There's no way that it's dried out. This was completely sealed. I literally just unwrapped it right when I sat down to film. So I can't imagine this is that, that dry. If it is, then obviously I will take full blame because I obviously took a year to review these products. But I've also had my pomade for a while. My pomade hasn't gotten like dried out. So we're just going to do what we can to try to create a look with what we can. Hopefully we can get something going. But I'm just going to try to fill in what I can. Kind of doing it, but like... Ugh, I don't, I don't, so far I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I just want to take a moment, by the way, to thank every single person who came and watched me play The Last of Us on live stream. That was such a fun experience for me. I love that game so much. I've told you guys how much I love that game and it actually premieres this Sunday, sorry, this Sunday on HBO Max and I'm so freaking excited for it. We officially finished the game. We officially finished the game last night 
and I will be playing Left Behind tonight. It's like an extended version of the game where it kind of tells like Ellie's story from the beginning. So you can see how Ellie got bit and how she has survived and whatnot. I'm so excited to play that for you guys. And then we're gonna start to play, wow, look at that, The Last of Us 2. That is like sliding in there. So this definitely is like dried out for sure. You can definitely see where the product is moving. Is what it is. So I'm gonna quickly set my eyes with my Pete Louise base right here. We're gonna go use this like cute little, just a neutral palette. And I also have some eyeshadow toppers. I'm gonna wanna use on top of that to see how well they work. So I'm just gonna quickly put this on my eye right here. And while we do this, I guess I can tell you guys a funny story that um, happened to me this past weekend. For Corey's Christmas gift, Corey has always wanted to go to a chiropractor his entire life that I've known him. He's super tall, he's like 6'4", so he definitely obviously does suffer from some back issues, right? So I decided to, for Christmas to book him a chiropractor appointment and I was so excited, like he was gonna get to go to his first chiropractor. I've never had, I've always wanted to get a chiropractor done by myself but I'm gonna be real with you guys, I'm too scared to do it because the idea of like, oh, hold on. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just got off the phone with Paige. <laughs> we were talking for like an hour and a half, so I don't remember what I was saying, but I'm gonna reapply my eye base because it's been sitting here <laughs> for like an hour and a half, but it's okay. So anywho, I think I was gonna tell you guys a story about Corey going to the car. Oh, I was, okay, okay. So. Corey went to the chiropractor this past Saturday because I booked him an appointment. He's always wanted to get it done. He has a lot of back issues, especially with like his lower back. He has a lot of you know, tension and a lot of stress there. So I'm gonna go into like this little palette called Fairy Garden. And I have like these little eyeshadow toppers to like go with it. So like these little like individual eyeshadow toppers. I think they look really pretty. And I feel like I'm gonna use that today with like kind of like a mix of their shimmers. So it looks, like so, that's really pretty. And then I have this shade, like a rose gold. Ooh, that's really pretty too. I think I'm gonna mix that on top of like the shadows, but I'm gonna go into this little color right here. Anyway, so we went to the chiropractor appointment and I, you know, Corey was so excited, so excited to go because he's always wanted to go get his back adjusted or whatever. And we get there and I had just had some coffee and I have been like really changing my diet. So I'm pretty much eating mostly vegetarian. I do have chicken here and there, but I really pretty much go like a vegetarian to pescatarian diet. It's just something that I wanna do. I've been eating a lot healthier. I've been exercising almost every single day. So my abs, my arms are so freaking sore right now, guys. You have no idea. I get up at 6 a.m. and I begin my workout. I'm part of a boot camp program and a core program. And then after this, I'm gonna be implementing yoga. I just like it's too much to do all three. So anyway, um, I've been eating really good. So I decided to have coffee that morning at Starbucks. I've been making my own coffee every day, trying to cut back on Starbucks a little bit to help save some coin. So we're sitting there in the chiropractor office and I was like, oh my God, I gotta poop. <laughs> I was like, I have got to drop some kids off at the pool, okay? Now, it wasn't like my, um, uh, wasn't like the, the Christmas parade story, poo boo. This was just like, oh my God, I really gotta go. I'm using my bling brushes, by the way. You guys can use code Ally, save you guys 10% off the IC collection. But I was like, I gotta use the bathroom. So I was like, okay, and it was, it was an easy one this time. I knew I wasn't gonna like poop my pants. Like I thought I was going to the Christmas parade. But I still was like, I, I can't hold it. Like I'm, I'm trying to hold it, but it's coming. You know, it's starting to like prairie dog itself. It's coming. So I asked the receptionist like, hey, do you guys have a bathroom here? And this is why Corey's filling out all the paperwork and whatnot. And for some reason, I started to get anxiety because I had to go talk to somebody. And then I started getting anxiety about Corey getting his back done because the idea of watching him get his neck cracked is just <laughs> to me, I'm just like, oh, I can't handle it. <laughs> so um, literally I am waiting to for Corey to go and I just was like, oh my God, I'm starting to prairie dog. My stomach's starting to cramp. I have got to go to the bathroom. So I asked receptionist and she goes, oh, the bathroom is down the hall on the right hand side. So I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm obviously gonna go use the bathroom. Corey, hold my coffee drink. And I walk down the hall and I get to this bathroom. And when I get to this bathroom, it's a pretty nice bathroom, super clean. I was like, okay, it's super clean. I don't mind how this looks. This is pretty patchy right here, by the way, but it could be my fault because I obviously was on the phone for a hot minute. I'm gonna go into the shadow right here. I'm just gonna kind of place this all over the lid. 
Um, so we get there, I get to the bathroom and, uh, this is a pretty color. It's a really pretty color actually. I get to the bathroom and I was like, oh my gosh, really nice bathroom, super quiet. There's two stalls and I'm like, hello, <laughs> is anyone in here? And no one answered. I was like, okay, cool. So I opened the stall door and I'm looking around. There's a toilet, a sink and a trash can. And I was like, okay, cool. Where's the light switch? Because I couldn't figure out how to turn on the light switch because it was pitch black in that room, like with the toilet. And I'm like really starting to cramp at this point. Like, oh man, I've really got to go. And I could not find the light switch to this bathroom. And I'm like, where is this light switch? I will say the shimmer is not bad. It like gets the job done, but I think I'm gonna tap into this shade that's called nine, um, 198. I'm gonna tap it on my finger. I'm just gonna place that on top as well. So I get into the bathroom and I'm starting to like desperately trying to find the light switch and I could not find a light switch to save my life. And at this point, my stomach is really rumbling. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it because I really have to go. My body knows that that is really pretty. My body knows that I'm right here next to the toilet. I'm like, I got to go. So I just did the only thing someone could do in that situation. I shut the door. I locked it because it's like one of those like full doors locked. Pitch black. Pitch black. So I did something that I never do. I bare, I bare butt it. I'll bare butt it um, because I couldn't squat because I couldn't see where I was at. So I, I had to sit on the toilet and I was like, because I just, I, I don't like public bathrooms. I don't. So here I am, you know, doing my business, taking the kids to the pool. Here I am dropping the kids off at the pool and I'm in complete darkness. And not only is it completely dark where I can't even see my hand in front of me. Um, I also was in complete silence. So I was like, this is horrible. This is like one of those creepy horror movie style bathrooms where there's going to be a killer that's going to pop out at any moment, come get me. And so I sat there in complete silence, complete darkness. And that's how I sat. And then Corey's like, hey, you coming back? I'm like, in a minute. <laughs> so that's my story. I took a hot minute because I literally could not see where I was at. Like I literally could not see anything. I had to put my flashlight on to look for the toilet paper. That's how dark this bathroom was. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then when I got done, I obviously like washed my hands and whatnot, but then I went back into the stall and I literally had shining a flashlight all over this door. I tell you, I'm, I'm not kidding. There was no, I mean, absolutely no light switch in that stall at all. So I'm like, how do I turn this on? Is it motion activated? So I started doing like this, you know, like, like on the thing, nothing turned on. So I was like, okay, this is horrible. Um, I guess now I know that when you go in here, you're just, you know, enjoying dark solitude to yourself, literally. And my, uh, and Alyssa was like, I told Alyssa, she was like, oh, you must have taken like a really peaceful <laughs> poop. And I was like, I guess, but like, it's one of the situations since it was so freaking quiet, it felt so deafening. Like, I don't know, like I can't stand full quietness. Like I have to have something annoying, and especially since I'm doing the one thing I hate doing in public. It was like, to me, like so freaking loud. <laughs> And if someone were to walk in, I'd be so freaking embarrassed because it's not like I can hide what I'm doing. I couldn't turn the faucet on because the faucet is freaking over there somewhere in this room I can't see. So like how creepy would that have looked to somebody? They walked in and here is this complete dark bathroom and they just hear someone, you know, dropping kids off at the pool in just complete darkness. They can't see me. I can't see them. It would have been a surprise for both parties. So yeah, that was, you know, my situation. I walked out of the bathroom. I went to Corey. I was like, they have no light. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, there's no lights in the bathroom, Corey. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to be quiet. So then the chiropractor calls us back and, you know, he brings Corey back there and he's asking him questions and he's like, you know, feeling like for the alignment, seeing like where Corey's having the most issues and whatnot. And he's, I, he, he seems super calm. I, on the other hand, am like starting to panic. I'm starting to panic because I'm about to watch Corey get his back adjusted. And I don't know, I guess I freak out that situation. So Corey goes to this machine. This machine kind of determines like where Corey's issues are, which I thought was really cool that it has the capability to do so. And then the guy lays Corey down on the bench and is like, you know, cracking his neck and stuff like that. And I'm just over here going, ooh, ooh. Like I, I just apparently don't do well. You know, and the guy's like talking to me. I'm not even the freaking patient here. And yet I felt like I was the patient because he was calming me down watching Corey get his back adjusted. And somehow by the end of Corey's appointment, 
somehow I got roped in to now I'm going this weekend to do my first chiropractor appointment. How that's possible, I don't know, but somehow I'm getting roped in to my very first chiropractor appointment and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about it. I'm actually pretty nervous, not gonna lie, especially when it comes to the neck portion because whenever I see those videos on TikToks of people getting like, their necks adjusted and the guy like puts his arm around them and they just like crack their neck, I don't, I, I tense, I tense. Like how am I supposed to like watch, how am I supposed to have that done to myself? And like the guy's like, I'll talk you through it. Don't worry. Like I'll make it so that you're relaxed. You won't even know they're going to do it to you. So I'll definitely let you guys know how it turns out. I can't imagine that I will enjoy it very much. I don't know. But somehow I got roped into it. So that's what I'm doing on Saturday. I'm going to my very first chiropractor appointment. Hopefully I won't have to drop any kids off at the pool, but knowing me, I'm gonna be very anxious beforehand. And when I get anxious, obviously I have to expel my bodily functions. So I'll make sure that like I have no coffee that morning. So I'm good. Um, but just know guys, I'm gonna be freaking out. And I will obviously give you guys an update on the status of that appointment and if anything happened to me where I had a repeat of like the Christmas parade at this point, you know? <laughs> I will say the mats are not as, like the mats, they're pigmented, but the palette's definitely not wowing. I think what's really making this palette look pretty to me is like this shimmer topper. It's laying down really nicely on top of the eyeshadow and I think it's like a really, really pretty color. Um, the matte is a little, a little hard to work with. I'm not really getting as much pigment as I want. Obviously this eye sat here for a minute, but this eye did not. And I'm just struggling to get it to work with me fully, but it's, you know, it's working. It's working in its own way. So let me just blend this out. For primer, we're going to go into the Perfect Filter Face Primer right here. This is from Paw Paw. So this is their collaboration with like the animals. Um, we're going to try this primer out. I, again, I have never tried anything from this brand, but when I, ooh, that actually smells really nice. But when I did my um, little unboxing of this product, you guys are really excited to see this on my channel. You guys say that you guys love this brand so much. I'm really excited to try this out, especially because I really want to dig more back into drugstore and more affordable options, especially with like where our economy is going right now. Things are getting so expensive, so expensive. And I'm having a really hard time keeping up with the makeup. And this is my job, you know, so I'm not going to say and expect you guys to like keep up with all the high end launches. Like it's just not feasible in my opinion for me financially. Part of the proceeds protect animals against abuse. Oh, I love that. Okay. So this is the primer. I mean, this is the foundation. It's called Pro Wear Foundation Full Coverage. I got the shade 0372 Buff. So I really hope I like this foundation. I hope it's a good shade match, but... I don't know. I'm also using the beauty sponge. This is the paw paw. And oh, that is very <laughs> light. Oh no. Oh no. That is super freaking. Oh man. Okay, we are really going to have to bronze this up. I look so pale. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. You went into the room like Kobe Bear. My baby. He was so upset. He wanted in the room. No, but this made me, I don't just know. I just put this on, sweetie. I know, I know, I know. No, baby, I love you. I love you so much, my baby. You know, it actually doesn't smell bad. And the, and the coverage really is really nice. This is a really full coverage. It's just, I definitely picked the wrong <laughs> shade. Oh, guys, I look so scary. Oh my gosh, I look absolutely terrifying. It's a look. It's a look. All right, guys, so you officially entered the Casper the Friendly Ghost YouTube um, tutorial at this point. Welcome. <laughs> um, the coverage is really nice. I wanna see like kind of like up close. Okay, so up close, the coverage does look really nice. I could definitely see some parts where it's not wanting to cling up fully, but I could see that it definitely is like full coverage, 100%. Dr. definitely does not look bad on the skin whatsoever. It's laying down actually really nicely. I just need to get over the color. <laughs> so for concealer, we're gonna go in with the liquid concealer. This is medium to full coverage in the shade Porcelain. Maybe I got 
the right color concealer. Um, we're just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put some right here, right here, right here. Is like a little bit deeper than the foundation or I am just making myself even more paler. Oh, I think that's what I'm doing. Okay, well, you know, it's definitely not a bad concealer. I can definitely see how it is full coverage. It says medium, but it definitely feels more full coverage to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> this is a look. This is a look, guys. This is truly a look. So for setting powder, we have the perfect setting powder right here. This is in the shade Soft Light. I think I need like some color to my skin right now. This is insane. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Oof. <laughs> Definitely has a really strong powder smell to it. This thing is so messy, I'm not gonna lie. It's like getting everywhere. It doesn't really have too much of a smell, but I will say it's super, super powdery. Like when I dig my, my beauty blender in it, it is just like, poof, like powder is just going everywhere. Okay, so <laughs> Oh dear God, why are you guys subscribed? This is scary. <laughs> so I will say looking at the face, the face actually looks really nice. I will say the face looks really soft. Definitely you could tell it's set very well. It's mixing very well with the product. So I like how the face looks in terms of like how it's applying. I think it's a horrible color match, but you know what? That's my fault. So next for um, um, bronzer, we're gonna use this little bronzer shade right here. This is in the shade uh, light. Hopefully this would be a really nice bronzer. We can add some color and some warmth back into the face. Okay, so what I am noticing right now is that it's actually settling into my nose, like my nook and cranny of my nose right there. You guys can see the product is definitely settling in. I also noticed that my makeup is kind of coming off the nose because I did put some of that bronzer on my nose to help to, you know, make it a little bit more contoured and to make it kind of a little bit more, um, full of color because it definitely is needed right now. The bronzer is not bad. Uh, it just looks like, it just looks kind of like harsh against my very pale skin. So it is what it is. So moving on to blush, we're gonna go into like this little Lumi blush right here. We're gonna try this out. It's supposed to be like a highlighter brush situation. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, this is pigmented. Why, like I swear, every time I do these videos of first impressions, ugh, like nothing ever works out. I look like a clown. <laughs> my God, nothing ever works out for me. I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay, guys. Oh my God, okay. Well, shoot. Okay, so for, um. To finish off the under eyes, we're gonna go back into this palette one more time. We're gonna start to just buff this underneath. Okay, so for mascara, I have the Naturally Color Coated Lashes. This retails for a dollar. It's supposed to instantly lift and curl the lashes. You know, it's actually not a bad mascara. Not a bad mascara at all. It spreads just a little bit, but it's not too bad. For lips, I do have a few options. I have this velvet lip set right here, but I also have these two lipsticks with like a clear plumbing gloss, which I kind of want to go for instead. So I have the shade called Lover, which is going to look like so. It's going to look like this. And then I also have the shade called Fling, which I think be, might be more my color. And it's going to look like that right there. So I think between the two. Let me look at the little plumping gloss, see what this one says. That right there. So I think I might just go for like this lipstick right here. So let me go ahead and just apply that. And then we're gonna put the plumping gloss right on top. These definitely don't have the best smell. They kind of smell a little chemical, chemical-y. Like have a little bit of chemicals in them. I don't really like how they smell. I'm not the biggest fan of how they feel. They feel super glidey. They're pretty high shine, which I do like. I just feel like it's not gonna really dry down. And oh my God, guys, I look, I'll show a picture in just a minute, but um, I don't really like how it feels on the lip necessarily. And I just don't like the smell to it, but we're gonna try out this gloss to see how this plumping gloss works. 
So we'll let this sit there for just a minute. And then we're gonna use this oil control primer spray. <laughs> That's go cool on. Wow. That smells really good, super heavily fragrant. So let me go ahead and let this dry guys and I'll be right on back. Okay, so this is the final look and we we have some things to talk about. Um, First off, I feel like my makeup looks pretty horrible. <laughs> I actually took a photo. I took a front facing photo, which I will go ahead and insert for you guys. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. You guys can see how much this actually like emphasizes my textures, my pores. It just does not look good on my skin right now. I don't know what product didn't cause that, but we're gonna kind of go over everything. So first we do have this little eyeshadow palette right here. I actually think the little eyeshadow palette's kind of cute. It definitely works for what it's meant to be. I think it definitely did lay down the color. Um, it wasn't the best at blending, but I do think the shimmer was really pretty. And I really, really love these little eyeshadow toppers right here. Like these are so pretty. They worked so freaking well. Definitely laid down some pigmentation. I didn't need glitter glue. I love the way it looks in the eye. Definitely like one of my favorite things that I used from this. And I could definitely see myself using these palettes again. They're super cute and they definitely do get the job done for what they are. Then we do have the Wonder Brow. Now I actually don't like this product. It is super dry. It definitely moves around in a container. It didn't really do a good job of filling in the brows. I don't know if it's because it's been dry. It's been like, I, I don't know what happened, but definitely not a fan of this. Um, we do the primer. I actually did not mind the primer. I thought it smelled pretty good. It definitely feels like it did fill in the, definitely feel like it definitely, it definitely felt like it made the skin nice and smooth, but I would definitely have to try this skin under my, one of, one of my favorite foundations to really see how I feel. But I don't know what's causing the issue. I think right now this, this foundation, it definitely is full coverage. It laid down so beautifully and it looked good on the skin prior to putting the setting powder down. So maybe the setting powder is what's causing my skin to look as bad as it does. I'm not really sure, but I actually really did like how this looked. I will say that I got the wrong color. I definitely feel like I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. I feel so freaking pale, not a color for me. Um, so I'd have to definitely go back and like get a right color, but it definitely was full coverage. It definitely does, you know, fill in what it says it's gonna do. And I'm definitely gonna keep maybe getting one in my shade and trying out my products. The concealer, I'm not really the biggest fan of the concealer. It's full coverage, but I can definitely see where, like, where it's clinging on to all like the fine lines in my eye right now. You guys can see where it's clinging on to that right there. I don't think it looks good underneath the eyes. So it's something I definitely would not recommend. And I noticed that my skin just started looking bad as soon as I put this powder on. So I feel like that's kind of what's doing it for me is the powder is just not not giving <laughs> and then we have the bronzer i will say the bronzer is nice i actually like the bronzer i don't know where it is oh i actually like this bronzer it was nice it definitely did you know lay down coverage it definitely did put down some pigment very easy to work with i have no issues with this product whatsoever i also have no issues with the um blush that i have right here this is like a blush highlighter i just feel like it looks so intense because i am so pale that it looks so intense on top of the skin but it definitely has pigmentation to it and it definitely has lumosity to it and as someone who's really oily i definitely don't need to have that but this was the only thing i picked out so it's kind of my fault but it definitely does deliver so i definitely can't take that away then we have the um mascara though the mascara it definitely isn't bad it definitely does lift and separate the lashes it's not my holy grail it's not my favorite but it definitely does get the job done it does spread just a tiny bit but you know what is what it is i definitely don't mind it at all i could definitely see myself using this again then we have like these lipsticks. Um, I definitely am not a fan of the lipsticks. They're super high, high shine. You guys can see that right there, super high shine. Same thing with like this velvet lip right here. You guys can see that it's definitely not really drying down. It um, doesn't have the best smell to it. it. Smells a little bit chemically, chemically. I don't know how to say that word. Chemically, chemically. Like it smells bad. Okay, it just doesn't smell the best. And I didn't really like how it applied on the lip. It just feels to me i'm just not a fan i think when it comes to lipsticks i wanted to feel either more like chapstick or more like it's gonna not glide off the lip when like these feel like they're gonna glide off the lip now the lips now the lip um gloss right here the plumbing lip gloss i could definitely feel the plumping factor it's definitely kind of stinging the lips i didn't mind the smell of it didn't mind the taste of it um i could definitely see myself using this again and then the setting spray i think it smells incredible but i do feel like it's a little too heavily scented but it's not bad i can definitely see myself using this product again so Overall, I definitely didn't hate a lot of these products, but I definitely feel like some of these products are definitely not meant for me. If you guys can tell by the picture right here, 
my skin looks really bad right now and I think it might have to do more with the setting powder than anything else because it didn't look like that when I first applied the foundation. It's pretty much after I applied the setting powder did it start to really kick into like all the fine lines and the nook and crevices of my, you know, my face. You guys can definitely see the clear separation between the foundation and like the setting and the bronzer right here. Definitely not a good mix, but I will say that's the joy of doing these type of videos because it's kind of nice to try out brands that I normally wouldn't have tried. And everything you see here is pretty much a dollar or two dollars. It's not that expensive. So it's not like it breaks the bank to try these out. And I've heard so many of you guys say how much you love these products. So I'm definitely wanna try more stuff from the brand. And they were super sweet when I interact with them. I love that they definitely fight against animal cruelty and I really do stand behind that. So. We definitely had some hits, but we definitely had some misses, but that's how this video always is. Whenever I do, you know, first impressions or trying on new stuff, I can never have like a perfect video. There's always something wrong, but I feel like that's just me at this point. So let me know what you guys think about this brand down below. If you guys are excited to see more drugstore and affordable makeup options, I'm definitely looking forward to doing that more throughout the year. And yeah, this was fun. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures. My amazing husband, Corey. The biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys enough subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye